time once again for That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly. That Business Show gives a voice to Tampa Bay's entrepreneurial community and highlights our community leaders, aiming to inspire and educate our listeners. Become a part of the entrepreneurial movement today by becoming a member of the Tampa Bay Business Owners and get your brand on air today. Visit tampabayradio.com for more information. All shows available on demand. Now, here are your hosts, Jamie and Kelly. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Hope everybody had a great uh, holiday. I think uh, many people are still on holiday out there driving into the uh, studio this morning. The roads were still pretty light, so this will be a, a little bit of a slow week ahead of the uh, New Year's weekend, which is right around the uh, corner. And Kelly, uh, how was uh, your uh, holiday break? It was it was wonderful. I can't believe it's Tuesday already. I keep thinking it was one, uh, Monday, and then it's like Sunday, like all the days run together when you're kind of like in holiday mode. But it was amazing. Other than dealing with ants. Ants, what was the problem there? You yeah, well, in the I, I'm in an older home and, and just, you know, you I have I'm having trouble with like those little bitty ants, like, they, you know, around the kitchen sink and different places. So I've got to go. I've, I've been doing, uh, gotta you got to get know. a can of Raid then. Is that what I need? Yeah, just yeah, get some can I, of I do raid. like quarterly like pests, you know, you have the pest people come out, but I don't know, maybe it's time. But yeah, the little ants are driving me absolutely You know, you can crazy. hire the pest people to come out, but I've found that if you go around the all the entrances with Raid once every you know, six months or so, it's the same as what those, uh, I, think, I think the pest people are just putting Raid in the back of their, uh, uh, the, the anyway, <laughs> is so. that you're paying and all that works. money for this high commercial yeah. quality yeah. stuff and that's, it's actually raid that's, huh? that's my theory you know they go around and spray by the windows and yeah. the openings the, the and idea I think it works though of spraying raid on my kitchen counter is i guess it's no worse than having ants on my kitchen counter so, but no, the no, idea of spraying find, raid you gotta find the source right. where they're coming in so the windows the door cracks the openings just go around all the doors and the, the windows and spray it along the edges there it works like a barrier for cockroaches and ants and it really yeah. makes a big Ooh. difference uh, well and these are the <laughs> Ants like you can't even see, and then my countertops are I mean, they're, they're tiny ants. And if then, you can't see them, how do you know they're there? Because <laughs> I put my glasses on the other day and I actually <laughs> saw them. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was not good, especially like I said, when you have trouble seeing, and then your countertops are dark on the darker side. And um, yeah, thankfully I had my glasses on, and I realized that, you know I had like ants. Like a, anyway, but you know all the like I, I cooked and stuff, you know, over the holidays. So you have all this food out, and uh, you can't leave food out. You, Did you mix in any ants? <laughs> no, thankfully not. But <laughs> I think you know leaving, of, right? if you can't see them, they might have ended up in your dish. Who leaving? Knows? Oh no! I mean, I had my glasses on when I cooked. All they right. weren't there when I was cooking. We're well, good. We got some uh, new uh, <laughs> some new pages uh, set up to make uh, some of the uh, the uh, call to actions a little bit easier for uh, the uh, listenership out there. One of them is the uh, Edge Business Magazine. We've made it easier to subscribe to that. If you visit that the Business Magazine You can get a free issue of the Fall Winter Edition of that business. I mean, I'm sorry, of the Edge Business Magazine. Just head over to that Business Magazine. Magazine.com. Also, uh, people uh, still remember that I am a realtor, so I've made it easier to uh, connect with me on that. So if you're looking to uh, sell your home, visit thathomevaluation.com and we'll get you over a, a free home valuation. And again, thathomevaluation.com. Or if you're just looking to uh, buy a home anywhere in the country, visit thathomesearch.com. And if it's in the Tampa Bay region, I can help you out. If it's outside the area, we'll partner you up with one of the uh, agents in our network. Again, thathomesearch.com. So again, made some easy to uh, connect with us uh, pages over this holiday break so check those out and as always learn more about the program over at tampabayradio.com time to bring in our guest uh, for this uh, segment he's going to be talking about how to triple your business in 2017 and he is dr ron eccles he is a speaker author and business coach with going vertical coaching so dr ron welcome to the program today good morning jamie good morning kelly good and, morning and how was uh, your uh, holiday break or are you still on break well, you know what? I, I'm one of those. I, I, I actually eat the uh, food that I have to dish out to my clients, and that is I continually, steadily pedal the bike at all times. In other words, I keep working, but I work on my own schedule but I make sure that I just don't go into complete relaxation mode because I love what I do, so it's really not work anymore. That's just like we mentioned earlier in the show. If you love what you do, then you'll never, never work another day in your life. Absolutely. Not. To, who said that originally? Where did that quote originally come from? I have no idea. I have no idea. So, research yeah, I think Walt Disney. I think. <laughs> Is <laughs> there it? You go. There you. That sounds like sounds good. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about your event coming up uh, again. How to triple your business in 2017, and also we'll get a link up uh, to this in the uh, recap, as well as we got it up on the uh, live stream here in just a second. But Ron, what are we going to be uh, learning from you at this event, and when is it, and how can people sign up? Well, the the event is coming up in January. 
January 26th, and it's going to be at the Ramada Inn in Northwest Shore in Tampa. So I've made it very convenient for people to come to a very centralized location to experience what I believe is going to be one of the best business training courses you'll ever have been to. Now, one of the things, and again, anybody can say something like that, but what I like to do is always back everything up with a guarantee. So the people who are coming that want to really change their business and have massively increased income next year, you stay for the first four hours right up until lunch. In fact, stay because lunch is on me. And if you feel that it has not been absolutely the best event you've ever been to in business training, I'll be more than glad to completely refund your money right then. Well, I always like uh, when people put uh, guarantees out there. And so come get lunch. And if you're not satisfied, then you can uh, get a refund. Now, who should attend this event? Is it just for business owners? What about people out there that are thinking of starting a business? Yeah, it's actually for both. Now, if you have a business, obviously tripling your income takes you from where you're at and massively shifts your income levels up in a direction that's going to make a massive impact on your life next year. If you're just getting ready to start your business, the great uh, advantage to coming to this event is you will learn some of the most key things I have learned in 34 years as an entrepreneur. And, you and got I'm going to lay it out in a methodical way so you'll be able to start your business the right way. And tell the audience a little bit about your background because you are a serial entrepreneur. I think you started in uh, as a chiropractor, I think, was your first time in business. But, you know, talk to, uh, take the audience through that. Yeah, I turned 58 this week, and I started oh, my birthday. practice. When, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I started my practice when I was 24 years old. I graduated from chiropractic college and moved to Sarasota, Florida thought I would be in practice the rest of my life. I was a, an overachiever from the very beginning of my practice because I graduated feeling it was my calling to help people and to do what I was trained to do. Now, over the next number of years, by about 10 years into my practice, I had an injury that uh, made it un made made it impossible for me to continue doing what I did as a chiropractor, which I loved. From there, I stepped into the teaching world, and I began to teach postgraduate orthopedics and neurology, which I had board certifications in both. And from there, believe it or not, I had a complete shift because one of my patients, who I became good friends with, um, invited me to come and help him for just a couple weeks, so he'd go on vacation. I went and watched his restaurant in Pennsylvania. So I moved from Sarasota, Florida, to Pennsylvania because I purchased his restaurant after a couple of weeks being up there, which was a, a big surprise to most people. said, you went from Florida back north? I said, yeah, I did. And I did that for about 16 years. I lived up there. And in the restaurant business, I got to tell you, for those of you out there, if you are listening to this right now and you are a restaurateur, my hat goes off to you because I know how hard you work and I know how difficult it is to really have a life inside of that kind of business. Yeah, we talk about that a lot in the program. A lot of people want to go into restaurants because I think they think if they can cook, they can own a, own a business and own a restaurant. But I've seen you know so many of them explain the difficulty of it, and so it's not one of those businesses that, uh, for the uh, faint of heart. And so you survived in the business uh, industry or the restaurant industry, you said, 16 years? I was, in, I was in a restaurant business about 10 years, but 10 I lived years? in Pennsylvania for 16. Okay. Uh, about 10 years, uh, I gained such a great respect for people. Now, I met people. You remember, I was a doctor, and I, I called doctor the dishwasher. I mean, I did everything in my restaurant. I did whatever it took to make it, and I did extraordinarily well. But I had a learning curve that some people didn't have because they grew up in the restaurant business, and that's all they knew. I met people who had never been to – I never finished high school or never went to college who were very wealthy individuals because they learned over time to move from the operations of a restaurant to becoming a business owner. And that's the real key that you need to learn as a business owner. You've got to learn how to shift your skill sets so you know how to run a business so you can become profitable. And you have people out there that are listening. Uh, he's got 10 years of experience in the restaurant business, and so take advantage of his uh, knowledge and uh, attend his event. Again, DrRonEccles.com, how to triple your business in 2017, and we'll get that link up in the uh, recap as well for uh, the listeners out there. Now, Ron, at this event, uh, you're going to be teaching your five-step system to triple your income. One of the things you're going to be touching on, how to create an unfair marketing message that is irresistible to your ideal client. Give us some teasers about what that means. 
Well, I had the, the f- wonderful fortune of working together with a friend of mine, Colin Sprague, in Canada for the last year and a half. And Colin has this very proprietary system on helping people connect with their purpose, right? And But I had had training prior to that, and I loved how he expanded my thinking on how to actually move people from – a business where you look at yourself as a me too. In other words, you look at yourself, I'm like my other competitors to becoming a me only business. So when you learn to have a message that sticks out, eliminates the white noise to your ideal client, your ideal client only hears and sees you. That messaging must be crafted very carefully. And I will show you specifically how to do that in this event. And I can tell you that I've been trained in, in my certification as a coach in this area. It, it typically is $7,500 for me to go into a business and spend an entire day building this out. You're going to learn the majority of it in an eight-hour program that will light your business up and change it forever. And again, this event going on uh, Thursday, January 26th at the West Shore Ramada Inn, located at 1200 North West Shore Boulevard. Again, we'll get the link up in the uh, recap uh, to register for that. It'll be over at TampaBayRadio.com. Again, you're going to be teaching your five-step system to triple your income in 2017. Another area that you're going to be touching on is uh, creating a company culture that attracts the best clients and team members. We talk a lot on this program about you know the importance of company culture. Elaborate on this for us. Well, I believe company culture begins, first of all, with the core values of the owner. The owner's core values will establish the core values of the company. The company's core values will set the culture of the company. And when you have a culture inside of a company, whether you're a company of one or you're a company of hundreds, you will begin to massively change the landscape on how people see you as a business. A great culture will cause an attraction of the right kind of customers in your business and cause the attraction for more like-minded, high-energy people to come to work for you in your business. And the wrong culture will do the absolute opposite. It will keep people out, both good employees or team members, and great customers. Culture is critical. Again, talking to uh, Dr. Ron Eccles about how to triple your business in 2017. This event going on again Thursday, January 26th. So be sure to uh, register for that. You can get in touch with him, too, if you have any questions at 484-515-4042. Again, 484-515-4042. Stay tuned. we got to take a, a break. But coming back from the break, we're going to talk about the other uh, three uh, steps that uh, Dr. Ron is going to be covering uh, to triple your income at this event. And learn more about him at the website, Dr. Ron Eccles. Eccles.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service, and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets, and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. Four seven five seven. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. My computer is so slow, it's making me crazy. I used to have that problem. Did you quit using a computer or, or did you buy a new one? No, I called Geeks on Site. They made an appointment to visit my home and showed up the same day. You mean they didn't ask you to bring your computer to a shop? That's what happened when I call a support company. Geeks on Site can go to your home or business or even repair your computer online. They have 24 7 emergency service. If you are having problems with your PC or Mac, call Geeks on Site. 1 800 617 1492. Our friendly certified computer. 
computer repair experts are available 24-7. Call now for a free diagnosis. 1-800-617-1492. Data recovery, virus removal, and maintenance for all laptops, desktops, printers, and networks. That's Geeks On Site for friendly, certified computer repair experts available 24-7 over the phone or in your home or business. Just call 1-800-617-1492. That's 1-800-617-1492. 1-800-617-1492. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for authors. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Page Publishing will get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, Apple iTunes, and other outlets. They handle all aspects of the publishing process for you. Printing, cover art, publicity, copyright, and editing. Call 800-664-2871 now for your free author submission kit. That's 800-664-2871 for your free author submission kit. Again, 800-664-2871. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. Computing.com. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas, unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. Minor crash on the westbound side of the Summit Expressway near Falkenberg being moved out of your way. Also, no delays to report on 275, 75, or I-4. Crash, though, in Apollo Beach on northbound US-41, north of Apollo Beach Boulevard. All northbound lanes blocked at this location. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsboro. Traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Florida Department of Transportation. Brought to you by the Florida Department of Transportation. Reminding you to enjoy your time with friends and family. Enjoy the tailgate party. But whatever you do, drive sober or get pulled over. Patchy fog early, otherwise partly cloudy, a 10% chance for rain inland, high 82. Partly cloudy overnight, low 65. Partly cloudy tomorrow, high 80. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Miss the show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here are your hosts, Jamie and Kelly. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Talking to Dr. Ron Eccles, speaker, author, and business coach and uh, owner of Going Vertical Coaching. You'll learn more at the website, drronecles.com. And again, coming up with his event on uh, Thursday, January 26th, How to Triple Your Business in 2017. He's going to be teaching his five-step system here, and we're talking about some of the uh, the different points that he's going to be covering at this event. And so, Ron, also at this event, you're going to be talking about the one proven business system that allows you and your team to 10 times your productivity and shatter all sales goals. How is that even possible? Well, here's the, here's the main problem with most entrepreneurs. They have learned a skill set on how to do what they do. The problem is they don't know how to run a business and a business needs to be run by systems because systems are objective. Systems allow you to not just grow your business to a small degree, but allows you to scale your business to the size you want it to be. When you have the right systems in place, you will be able to know when things are not on track, when things are moving in the right direction, when you have the right people in the seat, moving in the right direction, and when you have the wrong people. The right right kind of business system creates the heartbeat so you can understand and keep your finger on the pulse of your business at all times. 
And again, this event going on Thursday, January 26th. It's going to be at the West Shore Ramada Inn located at 1200 North West Shore of Boulevard. And again, register at DrRonEccles.com. How to triple your business in 2017. Put that link up on the uh, TampaBayRadio.com page after the uh, program. Ron, you're also going to be talking about how to uncover the most powerful weapon to lock in customers for life and fill your business with new customers and clients. Before I tell you about that, Jimmy, I want to go back for just one thing. When you asked me about culture, Mm -hmm. creating company culture, I wanted to give you a real practical example because I want people to walk away or to leave the show today with something that they can actually do. There is a ratio that has been studied scientifically that impacts you and I and our ability to be productive and not just that, to have better relationships and to be healthier. And it's called the three-to-one ratio as a minimum. Now, listen carefully. When we're, when we're watching the news or listening to the news or taking in information from the world around us, the majority of it is most likely not positive. It's more negative. But in order for us to be productive or to create a productive team in our businesses, we must experience a ratio of three positives to every one negative. It's every single business team that was studied show that it's right about the three to one ratio where teams begin to become extraordinarily productive. And if you can boost that to six to one, six positive pieces of information to one, the teams are the highest productive of all the other teams and an individual experiences the same results. That's a, that's a good point right there. So something to take away from the discussion, the three to one ratio of positivity to a negativity to help a team accelerate. So good point right there, Ron. I appreciate you bringing that up for the listeners. My pleasure. Now, to get back to the question you just proposed, all right? So how do we create customers for life or increase the lifetime value of our customers and then get them to refer new customers to us. I'll show you exactly in this event how to actually craft the situation to where your customers will not want to do business with anyone else but you. And they will not be able to help but tell other people about your business and send them your way. And then also, lastly, in the five-step uh, system to triple your income, you're going to be talking about the secret ingredient to accelerate you to the top of your field, leaving your competitors in the dust. What is that one secret ingredient? Or are you going to hold that off until the event? It's, it's called how to develop an, t- a tenacious, positive mental attitude. The most consistent or inconsistent variable in your business is always you. So if you are not working harder on you than you are on your business – you are missing one of the most powerful business accelerators there is. It's you. And I'll show you how you can wake up every single day more positive than you've ever been in your life. Now, again, some people start out fairly negative, so we're going to have to work on uh, crafting that experience so you move towards being more and more positive each and every day. But once you develop that momentum, it becomes unstoppable. Well, good discussion here ahead of the event on Thursday, January 26th at the West Shore Ramada Inn. The How to Triple Your Business in 2017 being hosted by Dr. Ron Eccles, author, speaker, and business coach with Going Vertical Coaching. Again, he'll be teaching his five-step system to triple your income in 2017. Ron, about a minute left. Any closing thoughts uh, for the audience? Here's one of the things. I would normally charge about $997 to come to an event like this to have eight hours of solid business training with no fluff. However, I could do it for free simply because I would love to have everybody come. But if everybody comes and people don't have any skin in the game, they won't walk away and actually apply what they're going to learn. So I put a nominal fee of $297 to weed out the people who are just tire kickers. I want people to come who really want to massively impact and change their lives next year by increasing their income astronomically. And I'm going to show them, again, with a money-back guarantee, exactly how to do that. All right. Dr. Ron Eccles, thank you so much for uh, checking in. And uh, people out there, definitely uh, take advantage of his uh, money-back guarantee offer. We'll put the link up after the uh, program. So, Dr. Ron, thank you so much. 
and learn more about this program over at tampabayradio.com. And also, if you'd like to come onto the program, please visit tbsinterview.com. Also, well, we've made it easier to subscribe to the Edge Business Magazine over at thatbusinessmagazine.com now. You've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. Are you at retirement age or are you planning your retirement? Hi, I'm Kelly Ham from Dillmeyer Ham Consulting. Did you know that one of the biggest challenges that leaders face is getting their employees to be engaged, motivated, and producing amazing business results? At Dillmeyer Ham Consulting, we'll help you transform your workforce culture from one that might be underperforming, maybe mediocre, to achieving amazing business results. You see, we realize that your workforce culture is equally as important as your business plan and your business strategy. The two must be aligned in order for you to reach your desired business and financial goals. Um, hey Jim. I just got this uh, this plan that could really help with our process here. Okay, why don't you just have a seat and let's go over it. Let us help you transform your workforce culture by leveraging your most important assets, your people. I want to know what's going on in your organization. Let us help you transform your workforce culture. Let's have a conversation. I feel guilty that I can't always be there when mom feels stuck at home. She was always there for us. But now she can't get out and I'm not always available to take her places. Someone else needs to help her get around. Then I learned about home instead. Now mom can do what she enjoys because her personal caregiver is there. And I can just be a daughter again. Are you struggling to care for your loved one? We can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at Values.com. 1250 Winds Weather Center forecast. Another day in the low mid 80s with sunshine. And a few scattered clouds. Going to see this for next couple of days. Looks like some rain and a little front will cool things down as we get towards the end of the week. Look for that to start moving in on Thursday. Grab the iHeartRadio app. Find out through your app store on any of your devices. Or check it out at whnz.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Miss the show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here are your hosts, Jamie and Kelly. And welcome to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly where business becomes show business. Alongside Kelly Wilson, owner of the Edge Business uh, Community and the Edge Business Magazine. We've made it easier to subscribe to the magazine too. Visit thatbusinessmagazine.com where you can get a copy of the uh, fall-winter issue uh, featuring uh, Terry Blachek of uh, Orange Theory Fitness. We had him in here uh, last week and had a good discussion about the uh, the founding and the history of Orange Theory uh, Fitness. And so read all about that in this edition of the uh, Edge Business Magazine, available over at thatbusinessmagazine.com. Our guest for this segment is uh, Lee Harding. She's the owner of Three Daughters Brewing. You can learn more at 3dbrewing.com. And she's also a returning guest to the program. And so we welcome in here on this uh, early uh, Tuesday morning 
morning. So, Lee, thank you so much for being in the studio today. Thanks very Welcome. much for having me. And Good so, uh, uh, a little bit early to talk about beer, I think, but nonetheless. <laughs> it's, it's never five, too early to talk five about five beer. five o'clock somewhere, as they say, <laughs> That's right? right? Well, your last guest was talking about tripling your income, and now we come in and talk about beer. That's so, what you do right? after it's you fitting. triple the income. It's a celebration. Go grab, go grab right. a beer afterwards. <laughs> and so, tell us about Three Daughters Brewing and the history behind the brand. Well, so, um, it's an exciting industry. The craft beer industry is absolutely blowing up. It is. Um, we do have three daughters, so for those who maybe don't know, know our brand um, when we first started brewing beer it was actually a game we said so how many beers do we think we have to sell to put three daughters through college and goodness forbid they ever get married <laughs> um, but those numbers we, are probably up there right oh my goodness <laughs> you know we don't have that final number but whatever it is was this just a uh, home uh, a brew that you and your husband or whoever put this together or no, did how they actually come together? Um, my husband was at Outback for 16 years and uh, the head, sh- and then we owned a restaurant for okay. a while, so that restaurant talk was hitting home with me. Um, but our head chef actually was a home brewer, and so we had a restaurant in downtown St. Pete, started brewing there, and put it on tap, and it competed very well against the domestics. And so we thought, hey, let's take this to the next level. We were going to rent a space and just provide beer for the restaurant. And then I made the mistake of letting my husband and our head chef go to California to buy a three barrel system. And I got the phone call from my husband saying, good news, we got a 30-barrel system. Oh, great. <laughs> so I said, oh, goodness, this puts us in a whole different industry. But um, we've never looked back. So we sold our interest in the restaurant, opened up our warehouse um, in downtown, or outside of downtown St. Pete. And uh, how much trial and error goes into the different brands? Because it's something that I think would be fun to kind of learn to do at home. And I've never done anything, uh, so I don't know anything about this. But what kind of trial and error well, goes into this? You get above my pay grade pretty early because I do sales and marketing. Okay. But what we found is making a good beer once is not so terribly hard to do. But making that same beer again over and over and over, it that's where the challenge comes Okay, in. so it's not easy, not easy to control the chemistry of it then. Absolutely. Okay. There's a lot more science that goes into it. So we actually, there's a couple things that we've done. We created a craft beer lab, and we've put in quite a bit of money with that. We partnered with USF, the St. Pete campus, and we not only have an internship program, Um, where we do both the biology of like the yeast and the chemistry of water, so on both sides of the coin. But then we took that relationship and also did a brewing arts program where we can help other people come in, learn the industry, and test their beer. No, I just say that it's really that you wouldn't think there's so much science science involved in or chemistry involved in beer making, but there definitely is. When we started this, I said, you know, beer, there's four ingredients. You boil it. How hard can it be? And actually, there's a lot of complexity behind making a really good beer. And and the consistency, like you said. And you even hear about that with restaurants. Uh, Bella's, uh, actually, uh, Joni was in last week. They talked about Bella's Bella's Italian Cafe. And one of the things that she had told me earlier on when I asked about why they didn't open other Bella's, she said it was very also very hard to duplicate and to get that taste to be exactly the same. It is all about quality and consistency. So we do testing all through the phases of the beer um, from the beginning boiling through the fermentation all the way out into cans. So we have cans and retailers like Publix and Target and Sam's Club. We get those cans back and continue to test them through time. How did you get that first brand or that first uh, batch into a store? How did you start to develop this uh, from uh, just an idea and an actual you know business? Well, we started in kegs. Um, the first year we did kegs for about 10 months. And then we said, you know, I wonder what would happen if we went into package. And the first month that we went into cans, doubled our sales really so really it was about working with our distributors our um, distributing partners and for us too to go out and talk to some of the buyers from retailers to promote our brand and get it in well and the packaging and branding i'm that that is so it's so important and i've read different stories about different uh, um, branding ideas and you know it's a, a lot of times the branding can be off and then you're pretty much your product. You almost think something's wrong with the product or that you don't have a good product. And really the whole time it was all about the branding or the packaging. Well, and we're very lucky. We work with um, Chapel Roberts who are in Ybor city and they've won quite a few awards doing our branding. They're absolutely amazing. It's all nautical. And people ask us why we did nautical themes. And honestly, it's because every one of our brewers, when they're not in our building, they're on a boat. What's making, what's making craft breweries uh, so popular? Is this just a regional uh, uh, thing going on? Is this something that's going on on a national level? 
It's definitely on a national level. I would say Florida is behind some of the other regions of the country that you hear about, you know, Oregon and Colorado and some of the great places. Even North Carolina has had a huge explosion, but it's definitely on a national level. And you can tell because even some of the domestics are now coming by and buying up craft breweries. I was going to say, because this is a, a, would be a threat to the big you know, brands, and it seems like to control this, they'd want to come in and step in and start buying up these brands before they got too big. Or Have you seen offers? Have you seen the big uh, well, beer brands come Cigar in? Cigar City. Yeah, that's a great example. Yeah, it's a great example, right? They're the leader in this community, and um, they were obviously the first one to get an offer, and good for them. You know, It gives them some power and some money, and they absolutely deserve it. Right. They've been fantastic to us. Um, craft beer is really a community, right? It's less of a competitive environment because we're all trying to make the wave of craft beer great. So there's lots of different kinds. But yeah, it's absolutely out there. Um, and I think people want more choices. So we've done some focus groups and just from what we see in our tasting room, people come in and they want options. So I think I was talking to you guys before air, we launched a couple of new brands. Um, we now have a coffee blonde that we've gone into cans with. Very different because there's very few coffee beers that are nice and Sounds light. good to me. Oh, yeah, coffee so beer. I, I don't know. I, I like it. Sounds good. I debated seeing if we could put some samples out, but I thought that might take the radio show off. <laughs> um, and cider. We actually just launched our first cider. So people are looking for those kind of options. And uh, craft beer is the perfect place to find it. How, I, many I different, was, how many different brands do you carry at uh, Three Daughters? So in our tasting room, we have about 65 brands. Oh, um, wow. We just turned three, so we continually play. And for our three-year party, we kept a keg from every batch that Ty had made and put those out on our three-year anniversary. That was lots of fun. Okay, so is Three Daughters Brewing then also a bar where people can come and, and sit right. down and have a drink? Okay. Yeah, uh, so we have a tasting room. Come in and try it. Out back, we have a big warehouse where we have bands, food trucks, games. Um, it's very interactive. We have trivia on some nights. We have growler fill. So it's tons Sounds of fun. Sounds like a great time. Yeah. yeah. About what, five blocks from Tropicana Field. And so at Three Daughters, and you're constantly kind of cycling in, cycling out some of the, the brands, and then mm -hmm. seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. And so that, that just sounds like a fun business to be in, that you constantly play with uh, beer recipes. It is. You know, I never thought I would be a beer wench again at this age. <laughs> I thought I'd sort of done that in my 20s. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of fun. We watch what comes on tap and see what our biggest sellers are. If they're a big seller, we send them out as a seasonal in kegs. And then if those work, we can them. So the coffee blonde ale that we just canned, it was because it did very well in our tasting room and in cans. What brands are in the uh, storefronts? You mentioned Publix and some of the others that are out there. So our flagship is our beach blonde ale. That's what we sell most of. It's a really nice crossover beer. But we have an IPA. We have a Rod Bender Red, we have a Sternline Stout, and our newest one that's hitting the stores now, which is our Awake Coffee Blonde Ale. I can't see a coffee and beer going together, so oh, it I brings you down and keeps you going. Oh, I get some in your hands then. So it's kind of like a downer in the sense that it mellows you out and gets you drunk, but it keeps you going at the same time with the caffeine. It has a touch of caffeine, not say, as kinda, much as a cup of coffee. Kind of a little uh, mix, well, mix going The on. idea of drinking a beer is not just always to get drunk, right? I no, mean, the no, idea is because you like the taste, and, and, it, and it's, you know, you're not, you're not right? So, the, I, so I see that coffee. Well, you're you know, usually, usually you're know, drinking for, you know, to kind of mellow out, and then you drink coffee to kind of speed back up now you got two different no, things well, going on inside. Like it's a good red one. meat beer like when i i had it i had a, a steak with it and it's so good and it's and it's uh, a lot of people do it in a stout but they're doing they took a different uh, venture with it because they have this milk stout coffee which is really good but they went with a different venture with it and it's really good it really is i've had some, some all some right i love breweries. it very cool now do you mix uh do you have a restaurant and food inside the uh inside the brewery too or is it strictly just food trucks not. um we are very clear we only have two rules one is quality and consistency of the beer and we didn't want to be both a food pub and we just wanted to be a craft brewery and the second one is we'll never run out of beer and for anyone who hasn't been to our tasting room, we opened up a next facility that has about 10,000 square feet, tons of brewing equipment. It gives us another 900 barrels to brew with. 
you can come through and take a tour and see how it all works. Well, like you mentioned earlier, you have the entertainment. A lot of the times you have food trucks that are there. So you, you, you there's food options around. Yes, there are food options. We don't have a kitchen per se. Right, you have yeah. food trucks that You cook. can bring mm-hmm. food in. And for people who do events, so every yeah, night in great. December, that's a big And month. it gives you variety of different Absolutely. things. And, different, you know, and, and it provides an opportunity for you to almost uh, provide jobs and work. You know, you're giving the food truck business um, some business as well. That makes Absolutely. sense. How I just said that. I'm, <laughs> so. a, I'm a big fan. My two favorite beers are yingling and guinness if i were to come in and ask uh, for something similar to that do you have a product line that are similar what would you recommend um for the guinness side we made our stout because my husband liked guinness and so he went to the head brewer and said hey let's make something kind of in this line and he went away and he brewed a beer and came back and mike was drinking it and he said that's really good but it has a kick at the end and ty said i can fix that and off he (laughs) went and lo and behold it came back very mellow um, at the end, very smooth finish to it. It's almost um, like Willy Wonka-ish. You know, know. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They play with batches until they're exact. And, you know, when I say there's lots of testing that goes on during the process, I'm glad it's not me. But they really do have an amazing way that as it ferments, they stop it at the same time. It's funny you just said that. Well, I can fix that. And I had a visual in my mind of this man, like, <laughs> running now with it, you know, to go fix it. And that's where the Willy Wonka vision came in. That's just funny. Yeah, it sounds like a great time. I've always wondered, the brewmasters, the people making the beer on site, how much drinking on the job goes into that? I mean, because they got to sam- uh, sip the beer and everything. I mean, do they ever end up drunk for, <laughs> on the job? You know, not that I have seen them, but there's a <laughs> lot of drinking and tasting that goes on. You know, every Friday morning, so Fridays are terrible days at our place, right? Because every Friday morning, they do taste tests. So there's a certain beer that they set out to make. Let's say they're going to make the Beach Blonde Ale. On Friday mornings, they do a sampling. Does it smell the way it should? Does it have the right hop flavor that it should? And they actually rate the beers that they've made. Did we hit that profile? Did we manage the style? Are people liking it? Is it selling it? So they do kind of a quality check assessment and then there's a lot of testing that goes on so it's a fun the process. time around there. Interesting uh, talk about uh, beer on this early uh, Tuesday morning. And currently in studio with Lee Harting, owner of Three Daughters Brewing in Laura Moore at the website 3dbrewing.com. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on That Business Show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941-201-4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. With Thermospa's unique built-in thermofiltration system, you simply fill it with a garden hose and your water stays crystal clear with very little maintenance. Right now, they're offering 0% APR financing with approved credit and a $1,000 savings coupon. Call Thermospas today at 800-991-5668 for your free DVD and brochure. That's 800-991-5668. Call 800-991-5668 today to take advantage of 0% APR financing. Attention, type 2 diabetics who have taken the drug Invokana. The FDA recently issued a safety warning regarding Invokana's increased risk of causing diabetic ketoacidosis, a condition resulting in too much acid in the blood, which in many cases was serious enough to result in hospitalization. The FDA also previously required the drug's manufacturer to conduct additional studies into the drug's increased risk of cardiovascular events, such as heart attack or stroke, If you or a loved one has taken the drug Invokana and has been harmed as a result, you need to contact the Watchdog Group today. You may be entitled to compensation. As a consumer, you have rights, and it's our job to protect those rights. Call toll-free 888-912-2340 for a free consultation. That's 888-912-2340. 888-912-2340. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. 
Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal, and most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. At Vane 911, we will help you feel great again. Do you have restless legs, night leg cramps, or ankle swelling? Restless legs, cramping, swelling, and tired heavy legs are often symptoms of hidden vein disease. You do not have to have visible bulging veins to have the symptoms of vein disease. The vein care specialists at Vein 911 are uniquely qualified to evaluate and treat your veins. Are you unhappy with your previous vein treatment? Vein 911 succeeds where others fail. Call Vein 911 today at 855 Vein 911. That's 855 855- 834-6911 to book your free consultation. Bain 911. We will help you feel great again. Minor crash in town and country on Independence Parkway just southeast of Memorial Highway. Also a crash on the Selman Express lanes. It is near Falkenberg in the right-hand lane, but it is only affecting those lanes from the Brandon Parkway area, not affecting the local lanes from I-75 or US-301. See traffic problems? called the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich Hillsboro. Traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Racetrack. Racetrack's Cook It Up new breakfast sandwiches. Whatever you want in a fluffy croissant or buttermilk biscuit, they're making it fresh every morning. So how do you like your eggs? With ham and cheese? With crispy chicken or savory sausage? Head to Racetrack for whatever gets you going. Patchy fog early, otherwise partly cloudy, a 10% chance for rain inland, high 82. Partly cloudy overnight, low 65. Partly cloudy tomorrow, high 80. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Miss the show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here are your hosts, Jamie and Kelly. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly where business becomes show business. Talking to Lee Harding, owner of Three Daughters Brewing. Learn more at 3dbrewing.com. And Lee, you have a uh, brewing arts program uh, going on. What is this? Absolutely. Well, more than just brewing great beer, we want to find a way to give back to the community. Um, So one of the things that we have done is we partnered with the University of South Florida, the St. Pete campus, and Great Bay Distributors, and we came up with a brewing arts program. Very neat um, program where you can actually go and take 10 online courses from the University of South Florida, St. Pete, and then you do your hands-on training in one of the craft brewing partners. Um, We are one of the founding partners, but there are others around town. So it teaches you everything through the industry, anything from the chemistry of water to brewing your beer to how to buy your equipment to how to open your own brewery. So we have some that are just home brewers, some that are beer enthusiasts, and we have some that are actually opening their own brewery. Um, This year we celebrated the graduation of the third class. There's typically about 20 in a class. And the great thing that we're doing for 2017 is both Three Daughters Brewing and Great Bay Distributors are giving financial aid of um, $5,000, which is the cost of the course, for veterans. So we went through and took applications for our first group of veterans. We are very excited to say we narrowed it down to two and selected a veteran that's actually in Virginia. So we're getting some national exposure to our local program. Um, He is married has two kids, is actually not working right now. So this gives him the opportunity to cross train and get into the beer industry. So it's a very exciting opportunity to give back and be able to grow our industry at the same time. And that's amazing. And it's great as you're obviously so passionate too about what you're doing. And I know, I mean, I can see you smiling talking about it. So it's, it's great to see that, you know, you're able then to help these other individuals and veterans. You know, that's just great. And giving them, a, you know, an, another chapter in their life. A new well, you know, it's rare to have an opportunity to come together with a university, with other craft breweries where you can give back. Right. And we had a lot of veterans that actually applied to get into the first three classes that we ran, but they didn't have options for financial aid. 
So not only are we giving um, basically two slots to the classes, but also we've worked with USF St. Pete, and they are working through the credit union to give some financing options. Oh, so you will have those options then available. Absolutely. That's great. So as we evolve the program, especially as people are coming in from around the nation, it might be veterans, it might be home brewers, or we've seen a lot of people who are looking to open their own craft brewery one of the things that they get at the end of module 10 is they get our business plan when we opened so they can actually look and see how we got our financing what we set everything up like i mean you know we want to bring everybody along give them the tools give us yeah give them the tools that are going to help make successful because you know people did it for us i mentioned cigar city they were fantastic to us when we opened and we want to be able to give back to others because this is a growing industry it's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of years so now i've seen your uh, beer in stores uh in uh, cans do you also Mm -hmm. bottle beer too you know we have some bombers that we sell out of our tasting room it's not our specialty when we looked at bottles versus cans you know cans um these are not your grandfather's cans that you know were the metallic beer right Mm -hmm. these are insulated they're lined they're recyclable you can take them on boats and beaches and to the pool so our main line package is cans but we do have some bottles that we put out interesting i just wonder is there is there a difference (laughs) in just you know sustainability or quality i think with like bottles doesn't the light get through or something and it impacts the uh sustainability of the uh, the product i believe that's good knowledge on your part so the two things that are going to mess up your beer are oxygen and light and cans protect against both of those so we felt that was the better option i I don't know how corona does it honestly i would love to go and take a tour because they send their beer out in clear bottles Mm -hmm. i would like to know how it gets everywhere without getting skunked first but um must be just that brand or that batch uh that chemistry that's in that that, uh, brand they certainly do a great job but i i don't know how so now recently (laughs) uh i saw you uh in the news uh hillary clinton made a stop by uh, your office there a little uh, unexpected uh, publicity but uh just in short tell us how that came together because that was an interesting story i thought it really was an interesting story so her campaign team came by and said hi we'd like to bring hillary in and Mike and I weren't in the brewery at the time, but this Sarah was. This was completely unplanned. You had no idea. We had no idea. And she actually said, Hillary who? <laughs> and the campaign staff said, well, Hillary Clinton, of course, but we weren't anticipating getting a stop right. from Hillary. So long story short, we worked through the mayor and the campaign staff. And What's what did. you said? The mayor even called us. So what the do you have against called, Hillary? <laughs> well, he said, you know, let Hillary walk through your business. Right. And, and what we didn't know is that she was looking to find small businesses that would give her some feedback. And she was very open to it. But the process, uh, we probably walked through with the campaign staff five times or so. Secret Service came in. They vetted all of our employees. The day she came in, we actually brought our three girls to meet her. And, you know, they wanded my youngest and her teddy bear. (laughs) And they all got little Secret Service pins. And, you know, they had to plan how the cars were coming. And she had other rallies she was going to. But it ended up being tremendously interesting just seeing the process. And our daughters got to meet her. My oldest gave her a hug a couple of times. They wrote her a letter, which she graciously accepted. Um, And then she just walked through our business and really asked, if I become president, what can I do to better serve small businesses? And, you know, we we talked her through the things that worked really well as we were opening the business and the things that were challenging to us. And uh, she, I don't know whether it made an impact, but she seemed to listen to the whole thing and she gave a, a short speech and uh off they went but it, it was an amazing experience yeah and i saw you in the news uh, several months ago i said hey that's lee and there's hillary standing right beside you <laughs> giving a uh, speech and everything seeing and the so. process of anyone that high up on the political chain have to get anywhere my it was yeah truly amazing when well, you had mentioned earlier you were hesitant about having her come initially because you just thought it was best to stay neutral in, in the whole political situation now, so what other side do. of the aisle right, that right. you're on it's still an experience I oh mean, absolutely whoever like would have said, called me I'd have been, hey, yeah I, I, you know i'm not going to throw them out you know whether i like them or not whether i agree with them or not i should say so well everybody has their opinions but as a business right 
We, st we, we try yeah. not to, you know, support anyone politically, but it, it was definitely a great story. It was an experience, for and sure. A, and a great experience. <laughs> right. Well, good discussion. Lee Harding, owner of Three Daughters Brewing. Thank you so much uh, for coming in studio today. Thanks for having me. And again, 3dbrewing.com, a craft uh, brewery uh, location there and offering tours and a lot of great uh, beers. Again, 3dbrewing.com over there by the uh, the uh, stadium in uh, St. Petersburg. Learn more about us at tampabayradio.com and tbsinterview.com if you would like to come onto the program. You've been listening to That Business Show with Jamie and Kelly, where business becomes show business.